morning good evening good afternoon wherever you are whenever you are thank you for watching my videos my name is da vinci jeremy i'm in the pipe five by five staying alive here in dubai glad i'm not in toronto and i see um on my ipad it says there's a storm warning coming and i remember those days when you had to survive the winter storms right but you had to go to work every single day i don't know where you are today in the world but if you're in a winter conditions area area where it's really cold i feel bad for you son <laughs> well today we're going to be talking about um you know how to get some free crypto if you're young you got some time on your hands right you can put down the video games for a minute and you know get yourself some free crypto and be able to you know transact in this world because you can start off with a small amount of crypto convert it to you know different other other cryptocurrencies like even usdt or, or um you know a bitcoin and ethereum and amass your wealth right i'm going to show you how to do that in today's episode along with show, showing you what's uh, what's going on with uh, bitcoin and ethereum oh boy man it dumps on us and then it reverses just nasty nasty we're going to talk about that in today's episode and how to best trade it and if you're interested in trading it you can head over to okx.davincij15.com or bybit.davincij15.com links are in the description below or in the pinned comment all right let's get on with it um let's start off with um our first news item of the day new york sues coinex i never heard of them before it says crypto exchange failed to register with state okay uh, this is this is horrible, right? Um, this kind of uh, regulation where you have to register with a government that doesn't know how to run a business. Think about that. If you were to ask, if you were to go to this this person who's charging the company with this, they've never ran a business before. Neither has any of the the politicians who've created this law. So they who have never done a business before creates laws to prevent businesses from actually operating. <laughs> yeah, good one, good one. Yeah, so you can see here, right? It's just nonsense, right? You don't know for sure if they're, they're committing any crimes, but I'm going to assume they're not because, uh, you know what, yeah, you're, you're uh, innocent until proven guilty, so we're going to assume they're innocent. In papers uh, filed with uh, New York State Court in Manhattan, James accused Coinex of having engaged in repeated and persistent fraudulent practices. Okay. Fraudulent practices is just like, oh, not registering. <laughs> that does not constitute fraud. <laughs> just so you know. If you don't register with your government, uh, it doesn't constitute fraud, and you shouldn't register with your government if you're opening up a business. Now, what this does, right, is it tells people, oh, you shouldn't go into business for yourself. Well, if you do that, you'll get sued, you get charged. It's a big disaster, so why why do it, right? This is what this, this news article is about. It's about keeping you from actually running a business because it sh they're trying to say, hey, if you do this, you're going to run foul of law. Okay, don't just ignore that. If you want to run a business, don't try to um, comply with all the laws because you'll take forever and you won't be able to afford to do the business. It is it is a bad idea. If you're young uh, and you're um, and you want to create an exchange, just go ahead and do so, and ignore the local laws. Unfortunately, because the, if you don't, you'll never be able to build anything, right? Because the whole laws are rigged against. The average person building anything also said that Coinex held itself out without state permission. Yeah, see, no permission was given, right? As a global cryptocurrency exchange and failed last month to comply with her subpoena to for testimony about its digital asset trading activities. Yeah, so basically they just uh, said hey we're subpoenaing you come to, to to testify that hey you do you're, you're running a business that uh, didn't register with us horrible company you are yeah okay whatever um you know uh it is uh, you could say well oh, well they're just trying to protect investors from you know bad exchanges taking their money uh yeah 
that's that could be you could say it that way but in reality you know what people need to be able to uh, create their own business have people trust them or not trust them it's up to the up to individuals like you and me to decide whether or not we want to put our money there or transfer our wealth there to buy exchange buy cryptocurrencies or not not some bureaucrat who's never owned a business who's never done anything that provides value to the rest of society they've only detracted from value from the rest of society with their paycheck through taxes and also uh, their uh, draconian laws and so forth they constantly do that they charge people innocent people with with things that uh, they did not do and in some cases they just have to pay because you know what it's just a speeding ticket for them and why bother fighting a person who's of power when the value of what they want is next to nothing like so for example if if you you got pulled over by the cops and they said hey you know what you're speeding it's going to be 10 bucks right and you got you and you've got and you make quite a bit of money even if you make like uh, you know if, if you make like two thousand dollars a month ten dollars okay whatever here you go officer see it you're not going to like try to fight that because it's just not worth it your time's not worth it, worth that effort so that's exactly what most 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 businesses end up doing with that said let's move on to this interesting article i found um before we get to the real meat of the show which is the how to make some free crypto a trader says code allowed him to withdraw millions from a crypto exchange prosecutor says he crossed a line okay so this is an interesting story and you know we can't read the whole thing but uh, the federal authorities arrested uh avram uh in puerto rico uh, in december accused the 27 year old trader of of manipulating prices on a crypto exchange called uh, mango markets and drained more than 100 million from it, the platform mango markets all but collapsed after mr emstenberg i guess that's his last name withdrew the money on a single day to in october authorities said mr emstenberg had defended his actions uh, uh did only what the mango software code made possible okay so this is this is crazy his defense is that oh you know what um well you know the code just allowed me to do that so i i did it i mean if if they say hey i can with so it's a question right if if you are allowed to withdraw like money that's not yours right is that illegally stealing well yes because this money is not yours <laughs> and you know that right and so that that's where he's trying to defend it right by saying well you know what the if it says that here if i press this button right uh i can actually take the money out now it didn't say it that way of course it was just the fact that the the, the way they coded it it was um easy to take the money and so it didn't mean that he can actually take the money so it didn't say hey take this money because it's available for you to take it because you were a programmer you know how to do that and so as much as he tries to defend that i don't i do not i cannot say hey you know what uh just because you know that you find an exploit you find something that allows you to like even let's just pretend this is bitcoin it allows you to take uh other people's bitcoins just because you can do it doesn't make it legally uh right so if i have the ability to take your bitcoins right it's still theft simple as that and so um yeah you can't um you can't really say that it is not theft if you are aware that hey you know what i'm taking somebody else's property period in my personal opinion now we can debate that in the comment section below i'd like to see what you have to say about that okay now for the the meat of the show okay so how to build a crypto portfolio without spending any money or time trading yes trading is one way to make some money in crypto but if you don't want to trade right some people say it takes money to make money but not the crypto world 
<laughs> you could actually gain free crypto and here's how here's one way of doing that right the brave browser is an alternative a platform where users earn basic attention tokens that's um, bat tokens which have a value right you could actually look them up bat uh, a full a fully own their data while searching right users earn from their activities on advertising websites and brave does not sponsor each engines po uh, engine posts which provides users with more uh, decentralized search experience yeah so currently brave shares 70% of its advertising revenue and some use users choose to sell their earned bet on centralized exchange for or through the web3 wallet like metamask so yeah you could easily get bat tokens with your brave browser so make sure yeah you might as well use some right your basic attention tokens this is an easy way if you are you know a kid who you know has a lot of time on his hands put down the video games learn how to use this right it's a little bit more work but it's worth more to you than that video game because you know what you can uh, be the top player of Call of Duty but it don't mean anything right? So why not be the top earner of basic attention tokens or getting free tokens, cryptocurrencies, and that's meaningful because that's real wealth that you're going to be able to use in the future. All right. Uh, another thing you can do, right, is um, over here it says um, some blockchains like Arbitrum do not have a token, but the hint, the hint of an eventual airdrop tends to attract users to the protocol within Arbitrum ecosystem. So, yeah, find out cool projects like Arbitrum that are out there that are willing to, um, you know, actually or have plans to give away free tokens, right, in the future so, and start using them, right? Maybe it's a website that you know, all you have to do is hit like on a few, few pages or whatever. There's going to be a lot of Web3 applications that come out that will allow you to earn free tokens that you can use in the future so you might as well you know get them when you can right uh it is it, this is a new this is a new technology and they this space is ever growing and it's, it's still early so you might as well uh jump in uh now and uh get a hold of some some tokens that will be larger have, have a massive value in the future and so it doesn't make any sense for you to to let this opportunity slide from slip from your hands okay many crypto if you're if you're a, a, a you know programmer and you have skills this is where you can actually earn some some um, some some money easily right many crypto and DeFi projects have set aside uh for marketing bug finding beta testing uh content uh, creation tasks Right? Many crypto investors earn tokens by auditing, testing, and creating brand designs, marketing materials, music, and other content. Lend, lending one's skills to a crypto project is the perfect way to get started. Now, um, one of the things you can do if you, is if you build up even a small um, following of people, right? you can provide marketing for that company and get free tokens. That's one way of doing things. I've done that with several projects where I just, you know, if I, if they, they just use my name on the project and they give me a bunch of free tokens. And so, yeah. And, and, and I, and I'm, I make easy money that way and I don't have to do anything at all. Just provide my name. So this is one way of getting free tokens that will be valuable in the future, right? Especially if you, you look into the project and you know the project is going to do well and, and you have confidence. Yes, it's an easy thing to make, easy way to make easy money from this crypto uh, explosion. And there will be many, many ways of doing so as this continues to unfold into the future. So make sure you're a part of it. Well, well most users think that bank accounts and fiat currencies are necessary for interacting with blockchain and cryptocurrencies. This is not the case. Yes, yes, folks, look at me. I'm telling you, right? You don't have to worry about you know buying crypto, right, in order to be involved in this. There are many, many ways to be involved 
in crypto in the crypto space free nfts which you can sell for crypto you know free mints on nfts and free uh you know airdrops all over the place there's all kinds of opportunities and make sure you are a part of it um or are you going to miss a, a big part of this space okay so let's get on to um our uh ta for the today oh my goodness what a disaster they were bastards this was a clear stop run nonsense here look at this boom stop i got stop down and then reverse it's like scamwick scamwick much oh my goodness bam they just destroy the bulls destroy the bears as you see the bears and bulls both dead, <laughs> dead. <laughs> bitcoin scam wicks oh my goodness that, that's exactly what happened here um with bitcoin it was a massive scam wick right there and oh well it is it is what it is bitcoin is going to be bastard right um and we just have to live with it okay so with that said let's move on with the next trade as uh bitcoin continues continues out now uh this is the hourly chart let's go to the four hour see where we're at four hour is above the 13 ama after breaking down uh clearly and not holding this a uh, trend line so this this is out of the question though this is out of play unfortunately so we're going to have to reset this whole process all over again should it uh uh it has to like oof, damn that's a that's a that's a long um trend here so i doubt that we'll probably hold this trend i think bitcoin probably roll over here um it is um the most likely scenario um if uh, if it can break above the the all-time highs of course that'd be great but you see that it's got to break heavily above the twenty-five thousand dollar mark in order for us to be confident that this is going to go further um it's been a it's been a nightmare scenario to trade here uh they kept you know um as it was breaking higher pulling back and just, just just destroying the bull the bulls breaking out destroying the bulls not over and over again it's been a brutal ride for bulls who are um trying to um, you know trade this the only thing you can do i've only like the best thing to do is like stick to the lower time frame look for positive actions you can see there was like if we head down to the lower time frames you can see there was lots of indications that this was reversing because we're in a bullish even though they're being brutal about it we are in a bullish sense so you have to keep looking for the bullish um w's and see start taking them and on a lower time frame and then let them ride uh ride you higher so that's a little bit hard tougher because you know what you can't watch the, the the market every single day every single minute you're just gonna have to wait and get lucky um every once in a while so you just have to go okay well I'm going to check the time, check the market, see if there's anything and try to run that that uh, short term run, because right now it is not fun. We can wait for a, um, a four hour um, W, of course, that's always a possibility. We can see um, Bitcoin do something like this, come back down and come back up again. That would be a sweet W. If that happens, then you can see and you could take that four hour W and then stop loss it down here if that exactly happens let's just wait for that to occur if you want to um to trade it in on the four hour candles and not uh, look for the um the um the five minute uh, candles and you're just gonna have to be patient and just wait it out well just so you know or just a reminder that debutar rewards right are available um if you own certain uh, debutars make sure you check out your rewards uh, head over to debutar.com right now and check them out. Um, and, and yeah, you can probably get uh, on the yacht trip, which I need to plan very, very soon. So, okay, Ethereum, same thing. Scamwick, we just it just want it just wiped out all the the bulls with the stop loss here. At least the stop loss was a little bit lower, a um, little bit quicker on the um, uh, on Ethereum, and yeah, it continued down uh, further almost bouncing off the 38.2 you can see and um and then now we've reversed 
and we're headed back to this trend this upward trend line now this upward trend line is acting as resistance to breaking out um, so this is a clear trend line if it fails to break above that then you know we probably are not going to break above it anytime soon hopefully maybe we can come and do a w and and just break above that trend line or if it breaks here right that would be a positive sign uh, for um, ethereum and probably take bitcoin with it um, but hey that's we just have to wait and see um, if that creates a w we can take this uh, trade nicely all right well that's it for today i hope you enjoyed today's episode i hope you learned something today and make sure that you know you own some crypto because man this is going to be the money of the future banks are going to disappear you are silly if you don't own some bitcoin and ethereum for your future retirement because that will make you wealthy one day and it has made so many of my friends and family members wealthy so make sure you become one of them thanks for watching make sure you hit the like hit the subscribe and we'll see you guys tomorrow cheers